When your thighs are burning, <laughs> there might as well be a fire, okay? So all you wanna do is get out of Dodge. In today's video, we're gonna be talking all about thigh chafing, AKA chub rub, and how to keep our collective thighs from burning. If that's why you clicked on this video, then hit that like button because I've got some tea for you. New here, my name is Chi Chi and on this channel we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. If you are part of the Thick Thigh Gang, then there's no way you have not come across thigh chafing. Not only will I be sharing with you remedies and ways to alleviate this pain, I'll also be sharing with you things that do not work so you don't have to suffer. And you'll be shocked to find that that you probably have some of these remedies at Home. Speaking of remedies that you already have at home, let's start with remedies that you apply directly to your thighs. And one of those remedies is going to be coconut oil. And before you're like, wait, 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 Chi Chi, coconut oil, not coconut oil on its own. Because if you've ever tried baby oil in between your thighs, you know that it does not work. However, when you mix in baby oil and cornstarch and apply it in between your thighs, that combination really helps to keep your thighs from burning. I'm gonna put a link to a Pinterest pin or to the recipe for the coconut oil slash corn starch mixture in the description box down below. If you ever did that little corn starch experiment in science class, then you know that corn starch has a very interesting consistency. When you mix that coconut oil with the corn starch, it really makes a difference and keeps your thighs from burning. Now continuing on with products that you can apply in between your thighs, the next remedy that I've tried and actually was one of the first remedies that actually worked for me is going to be an anti-chafe gel, specifically the Monistat anti-chafe gel. This was one of the first anti-chafe products that came on the market that was widely marketed and mass produced. And I have to tell you that it was literally a game changer, right? I used to hate going out during the summer especially if you caught me in a skirt or in a dress. And when I started using this product, oh my God, my thighs were singing my praises, okay? They changed the formulation a little bit from when it was first mass produced. When it was first mass produced, the formulation was a lot more powdery and less oily. Now it's a little bit more oily. But again, that's a personal preference and really the product that works best for you will really depend on your lifestyle and also your body body chemistry. Now, aside from the Monistat Chafe Gel, there are several other brands. Mega Babe is one that I've seen everywhere. All the plus girlies recommend Mega Babe. There's also the Body Glide that I've heard people talk about. They even have one specifically targeted for girls. There are several, several options, and I'm, I'm trying to remember their names, but I'm gonna link a whole bunch of options for you down below. Now, I'm personally going to purchase the Mega Babe. First time I tried to order it they canceled my orders we're gonna put a pin on the mega babe let me know in the comments below if you've tried it your thoughts and if you want for me to do a review on it and i will do it for you at a later date now if you're in a pinch okay and you don't have the anti-chafe gel you can't run to a cvs you don't have to have access to it and you don't have cornstarch and coconut oil in your house then the next item that you most definitely i hope you have is going to be deodorant okay but now i will say though that it has to be a solid deodorant. The gel deodorants, the glidey deodorants, those do not work. It has to be a solid powder-like deodorant for it to work. Now what I like about the powder-like deodorant is that most deodorant have an antiperspirant nature built in, which means they help to keep away sweat. Right, and one of the biggest cons I have for topical remedies is that if you sweat, that sweat is gonna wash it away and you're gonna have to keep on reapplying. 
for the coconut oil and cornstarch mixture you're gonna have to come up with some kind of method or container to use to transport it so that's not the most convenient if you're carrying like a cute little small bag you may not you know want to carry around the tube of monostat with you but so what I really like about antiperspirant deodorant is that it helps to contain the sweat which means that the anti-chafing properties of the deodorant tends to last a little longer now if you're gonna use a deodorant in between your legs because you know it's not really created for constant friction like that you know because everybody's skin is different you want to definitely test it out to make sure that it doesn't cause a rash it doesn't cause an irritation etc etc now that we've covered the most common you know topical remedies for chafing aka chub rub we're gonna talk about physical okay remedies that is creating an actual physical barrier in between your thighs now if you're no stranger to my channel you already know that i stand for the slip short that is the easiest in my opinion the most surefire way to prevent thigh chafing i have tried a few brands and per your request i'm gonna tell you my thoughts and gonna share with you my opinion on which which brand makes the best okay if you're trying to create a physical barrier to keep your thighs from chafing you don't even have to buy a slip short you can go ahead and just throw in a pair of biker shorts my only issue with biker shorts is that they tend to be made a lot thicker and they're a little less breathable and when things warm up like especially when it's on those 90 degree days and it's super hot outside you want to be as close to natural as possible right and so what I like about most slip shorts is that they are actually designed to be very lightweight and they're actually designed to be breathable right so the first pair of slip shorts that I picked up last year was this two pack from Amazon I was searching slip short everywhere I saw two options that popped up on Amazon the Amazon brand slip shorts and of course the jockey brand slip short now if you know me you know I like a save a book and I don't necessarily believe that you have to spend more to get good quality so of course I ordered the Amazon pair because I think it was gonna come to me faster and I also later went back and ordered the jockey pair and the main difference that I found between the Amazon pair and the jockey pair was just the I want to say construction was just the formulation of the fabric right the formulation of the jockey pair was a lot softer to touch number one and a lot more breathable it felt lighter it felt more breathable now what I really liked about this pair that I picked up from jockey is that I picked up the cooling version which means that it actually has technology built in to the fabric to help to cool you down now I don't know about anybody but this girl right here this girl is a perspirer okay I perspire so I'm always constantly looking <laughs> for ways to keep my body cool okay because I do not like to sweat it just makes me feel icky it makes me feel gross it makes me feel not clean right so when I saw that this had that cooling feature built in I was like mm-hmm add to cart right so again the difference between the jockey pair and the Amazon pair when I purchased it was literally two dollars three dollars maybe four max right and in my opinion I would rather pay that four dollars for that cooling technology and for that fabric that's a lot more breathable and a lot softer but I will link both and then finally towards the end of the summer last year I saw that H&M were doing basically slip shorts I can't remember what they named them okay and I picked up a pair from them as well now the H&M pair are actually made almost like tights right they kind of made like tights they just have the same consistency of a thicker tight and they're also a lot longer and to me I felt like they were a little more difficult to get into because you know how you have to be like soft when you're putting on tights because you don't want to put a hole in them I just felt like I had to be a lot more careful when I was putting them on it also was a little bit more controlling if that makes any sense so I also kind of was getting the same vibes I would get when I was putting on Spanx it wasn't like the control was light to medium but I just felt like it wasn't something I just put on really quickly and run out right so when it came to the convenience factor it definitely got low marks for me so if I were to rate all of the versions that I got, I would put the jockey at number one. Okay, because y'all asked me for this. I would put 
For number two, it's kind of neck and neck between the Amazon pair and H&M pair. But I feel like the Amazon pair slightly wins, right? It slightly wins because it's more convenient to put on, right? I don't feel like it's fragile. I don't feel like I'm gonna put a snag in it. And I don't feel like I have to be like, do like extra pulling and things just to get it in place. Also, the H&M ones happen to be a lot longer, which means it really limits for me what I compare it with, right? If you wear like more knee length or maxi pieces or midis, the H&M one would work. But if you wanna wear anything that is a little bit shorter, I always find myself having to pull it up a little bit and hope it stays up when I have to wear it. Because of that, the Amazon ones kind of win. Also, the only sort of like slight edge the H&M ones have over the Amazon ones is that they're a little bit softer. When it comes to softness, the Amazon ones could be a little bit better. But aside from that, I would choose the H&M H&M ones over the Amazon ones. So if you're enjoying this video and you learned something new, go ahead and hit that like button. This is also a great time to share this video because you may not know it, but you may know someone, okay, who needs these chafing hacks, okay? And in addition to that, really just engaging, commenting, liking, and sharing really helps pay it forward because it tells YouTube that I'm giving out valuable information and this video needs to see by more people. So if you don't like the idea of slip short because you really do not want that extra barrier, you wanna be as free as possible, but you also don't love the topical options because maybe you sweat a lot, then the next option I have for you are going to be these thigh bands, right? There was a brand that got really popular a couple of years ago, they're called Bandolettes. I'm not sure if they're still available, but if they are, a little birdie told me that I could check on Amazon I will link them for you down below. Essentially what you get are two pieces of fabric that you can pull on onto your thighs and place exactly at the spot where your thighs rub. Now these pieces of fabrics have like plastic feature on the inside of the thigh that's supposed to keep it in place and keep it from moving around. Now I never ever thought this was a viable idea for me because I was like, have they seen my thighs? Like, do they know the kind of thighs I have? Because I really feel like this stuff, by the time I start to sweat, okay, if I do some really wa serious walking, I'll just be walking and this thing will just fall off my leg and it'll look like my underwear, like my drawers just fell off. So that's why I never tried this, but I wanted to share this in this video if, you know, the slip shot short option wasn't for you. If you've tried the bandolets, please let us know in the comments down below. Now, I have a bonus, bonus point for you. Now in the warmer months, I always recommend that you go for more natural fabrics, specifically fabrics that float away from the body. Now since this video is specifically about thigh chafing, I recommend wide leg pants. You get that physical barrier because your thighs are not touching or rubbing. It's loose, it's airy, and it floats away from the body. I recommend, you know, investing in a pair, two pairs, three pairs, four pairs of super easy, lightweight, wide leg linen or silk pants. These are going to come in and clutch during the spring and summer months. And on the days where you don't wanna worry about body glide, monostat, don't feel like wearing an extra layer underneath your dresses and your skirts, then these pants are going to come in clutch. I call them summer pants and I include them in my must have for the summer season. And I also talked a little bit about them in my summer hacks video. So if you want a little bit more tea on, you know, summer hacks to live by as a curvy girl, I'm gonna put a link to that video. Now, speaking of clothing pieces, if you want the tea on this gorgeous purple top that I have on, on this jeans, on my wig, et cetera, et cetera, I always include links to everything I talk about, everything I mention in the description box in this video. And specifically for outfit details, I always include them in the shop my outfits link. 
That is where I link 99.9% .9 okay of everything I wear, I feature, I buy, I have my eye on. And while you're there, make sure to download the LTK app and follow me. And once you follow me, if you're looking for other fun creators to follow, I have a blog post sharing 20 other creators to follow on the app. And I will link that for you in the description box of this video. Do you suffer from thigh chafing, chub rub? I'm sure if you click on this video, you probably do. Will you be trying any of these remedies? Question mark. And if there's a remedy that I missed in this video, sis, don't gatekeep. Let us know in the comments down below. Check out this video and this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.